from the mind of Robin Hardy that brought us the wicker man and later the wicker tree comes the bull dance aka forbidden son so I decided to do a review of this movie because it deals with Greece and Greek cults so is this another cult classic like the wicker man or is it another forgotten film that should be lost in time like it has been this is the bull dance aka forbidden son from 1980 and um, it's raining so I'm gonna get back home and do a review and let's see what we think about this movie. What do you think? So I finished watching The Bull Dance, and what did I just watch? <laughs> so this was a movie that was written by Robin Hardy. As I said in the intro, he had a his claim to fame is The Wicker Man. So going into this film, I thought I was going to get something akin to like The Wicker Man or The Wicker Tree, where it was going to be like a Greek cult kind of film. In the trailer, if you watch the trailer for The Bull Dance, it kind of teases you that that's the film that you're going to get. But you don't get anything but a confusing mess of a movie, and it is no wonder that you have never heard of The Bull Dance until today. So what this movie is about is that a group of 12 girls from Texas uh, go to Greece, Crete actually, to train in the Olympics. So I had to actually look up the reason why they're actually in Greece. They're, gy they're a group of gymnasts, and they mention that maybe in one or two sentences that... Um, and they mentioned the Olympics, but I had to actually look up to see what the plot of the movie actually is because it's just overall a real mess. So these girls go to Greece to train for the Olympics, or so I've read. And one of the girls named Jane becomes obsessed with what she hears that the ancient Greeks used to do, which is the bull dance, the title of the film. Now, the bull dance was when gymnasts of ancient Greece would actually do a hurdle jump on the top of the bull's head, jump over the top of the body, and then jump off and dismount off of the back of a bull. Now this is a real thing. Now the bull dance is actually a real thing that really did happen. And Jane is obsessed with uh, doing this bull dance in reality. And so this weird film is based around that. This crazy girl that's a gymnast that for some reason She's a normal one that doesn't even stick out in the crowd until she becomes just randomly obsessed with doing this bull dance, and the plot revolves around that. Now, if you read the summary plot of what this movie is about, it talks about how this film is... The general plot, according to what you'll read, would tell you that this film is about a girl that's part of the gymnast team. She goes to Greece and is raped, and her rape may be tied into a Crete ancient ritual. And that summary is a complete lie, because this movie is nothing to do with that. The rape that the, that the um, little clips, like your TV guide summaries, you know, you read about what a film is, and it tells you what it's about. I read that that's the summary that this movie gave, and the rape doesn't even happen until 30 minutes before the movie's over. It's like within the last 30 minutes of the movie, and it has nothing to do with some kind of ancient Crete ritual. It's literally just a rape. And the movie's really about Jane, this girl that all of a sudden just turns into a nutball and becomes obsessed with the bull dance. She thinks that's the ultimate goal of to prove that she's the ultimate gymnast is that she, if she's able to le literally leap over a bull, a bull. And the movie opens up with the story of the Minotaur or the Monitor. They don't call it the Minotaur. They call it, or Minotaur, you know, they call it, they pronounce it very weird. I had to look it up to see if this was actually a thing that other people called it, but no, it's just, these people didn't know what they were talking about, apparently. They call it the Monitor, or, so, or the, and the Minotaur, it's, it's, it's not Minotaur, but that's what they're talking about. But the movie opens up with the myth of the Minotaur, of how it was born, and that leads into the bull dance and the obsession that this girl has. What a mess of a film. 
What a mess of a movie. It's a, it, it's a mess. It's a no reason. It's no wonder, I should say, that Robin Hardy was never credited past when this movie came out to having anything to do with this movie, and it's no wonder this movie has been lost in time. And then to top it off, the ending makes no sense at all. So the uh, girl, she finally gets her chance to do the bull dance. A guy that was the quote-unquote the villain that you know he wasn't the villain because you saw it coming. Um, um, dies, quote-unquote, or does he? And then the true rapist dies just randomly. It's just as crazy and messed up as it sounds. And it's just as random and you're like, what? And all this is packed into the last five minutes of the film. So it's uh, it's very fast and it's not fast paced in a good way it feels rushed it's a mess of a script and it is in no way a fun film other than to watch and think what did i just see it probably has the messy it's probably gotta be one of the messiest um a grade i guess you would say with names behind it that i've ever seen it's very sloppy um, it has notable actors such as Cliff Young. Now, I knew I was kind of in iffy water when I see Cliff Young in a film. He was, um, he'll always be the dad on The Craft, the 1996 movie The Craft, the main dad that you see on that, and um, he played Brad on the Rocky Horror sequel, Shock Treatment. So, it's a mixed bag when you got Cliff Young in a film, and this is definitely not one of his best not a memorable thing at all but a little nerdy side note that i thought was interesting is that the film also has a somewhat starring role of a young robert beltran now robert beltran for you trekkies would know that he played chakotay <laughs> on star trek voyager commander chakotay so i was i liked it for that part of it he was probably my favorite part of the film because you have to find something enjoyable you had to find someone to latch onto in life because this script was a complete mess. I went in thinking that it was going to be um, a Robin Hardy film in the way that Wicker Man, The Wicker Tree, and it has touches of The Wicker Man and that they have musical numbers, but um, it's just nothing there. It's no, like I said, there's no reason there. It's a movie that you've never heard of before. And if you are interested in seeing this film, this mess of a movie you can go to if you have a roku you can look it up it's on t u spell t u b i tubi and look up bull dance and they have it there for free and like i said it's you can watch it and the whole another thing too about it is that i was watching this it's supposed to take place in greece in crete in greece and the whole time i was thinking this doesn't look like greece and then you find out that the movie was filmed in Yugoslavia. They just put Greek signs here and there. I was like, there's not really any Greek people in this movie. It's a bunch of white girls and um, from the South. And then the teacher has like a British accent. But I think I read that she's from actually South Carolina. So I'm like, what? So, yeah. So, yeah, stick with Wicker Man, The Wicker Tree midsummer if you want a recent one but it is nothing to do with what you would think of when you think of robin hardy i don't know anyway guys it's a mess it's hard to do a review of something that jumps from eight points a to j then back to c and then over to f and then it skips the rest of the letters and then says ta-da it's that kind of movie anyway guys i don't know Anyway, guys, bye. Final rating, I'll give it a final rating, A to F. I'm going to give this movie a WTF.